equation, we have to find the greatest common factor of 64 and 26 to find x. Then we have to find the least common factor of 27 and 54 to find y. And then we have to find sum of x and y. If that is the case, then uh, if x is the greatest common factor, then the greatest common factor will be of, uh, uh, we have to find of 64 and 26. So what is the procedure? We factorize this completely, these two numbers, and try to find out the common factors of in, in between both. So 26, we know, uh, 26 is the only possible factor which seems is 2 times 13, because 13 is a prime number. And likewise, 64, uh, if we write in such a way that 2 also comes, then it will be 2 times 32. It doesn't make any sense to break out 32 any further because we know that 32 uh, it does not have 13 as a common factor. So 13 anyway would not come common. The only common thing is 2 over here. So we'll say that the GCF or the greatest common factor is 2. And the least common factor, not to be confused with least common multiple, uh, that uh, that is of 27 and 54. So for 27 and 54, uh, 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 what is the uh, least common multiple? So that would be for 27. You know that 20, the least common multiple sorry the least common factor will be 1 because 1 times 27 is 27 and we are looking for a least number which can divide both so definitely 1 is the least number which can divide both of them so the least common factor is definitely 1 so the least common factor is 1 the greatest common factor is 2 then 2 plus 1 is nothing but 3 which is option d thank you